welcome back. You can actually see what's going on on Main Street now that the sun has come up about mm, four minutes ago. Mm -hmm. So we want to introduce mm -hmm. you to James. Good he is with Gringo Guacamole. Now, Hola. Hola. Do you speak Como Spanish? Do you si. speak Spanish? I speak Spanglish. Oh, that works. Yeah, it's Spang does too. Yeah. So yeah. you guys will have a great conversation. Yeah. I'll Buenas leave. morning. And you guys Buenas <laughs> morning. <laughs> si, bueno. Hey, so I met James. Uh, he's a part of Utah's own, which is all the local companies in Utah that are making different products, whether it's you know skin products or food or whatever it is, and he is a part of it. I, we were down there, Director Tim and I were, we tasted his guacamole, and I think we were both in guacamole heaven. heaven. Guacamole <laughs> heaven. So James is here today to whip up some of his good stuff. Where do we start? Okay, well, I'll start with the avocado because that's the fun part. So just want to grab an avocado. You want to grab one? We'll each cut one. Sure. Oh, okay. Are you cutting? Does you want Dane to? I have knife skills. Dane, you want to cut it? You darn right, right I do. Right here. Okay. This is my favorite knife set. So you cut a long ways. If you just hold it, it just rotates in a circle. Avocados really are one of my favorite things. There you go, Dane. Thank you. Oh, hey, and Wifey, come around this way. Come around this way, and we'll get the... We need a bowl. Wifey's uh, our off-camera assistant. And while we're doing this, tell us a little bit about Gringo Guacamole. Well, it's a recipe that's about 10 years in the making. And um, I started... You know, I worked in a lot of restaurants in college, and uh, we need a spoon here. So we're going we're to take a spoon, we're going to scoop these, these avocados into here. Okay. And uh, so, worked in a lot of restaurants. One of them was a, a Tex Mex restaurant. Wow, look at that. Did you see that? Yeah, these are good avocados. One, they come out real nice. I'm good at one, avocados. One, this one is scooper. one thing I can do. Yeah, a good way to test an avocado is if you can squeeze it, if you feel like you can just crush it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's still a little resistance, it's good. If yeah. it feels like you're going to have to give it some effort, it's, that's very it's, good, it's not ripe yet. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you. I know I'm good, right? So, you know, we're. we're guacamole hogs we love it like a lot <laughs> of people hogs. and so yeah. we would just make it a lot and because is there a special place you get your uh, your 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 avocados for the guacamole yes so i'm going to teach you a trick with the pit if you take oh, a knife okay. and you just stab it it just pop right out yeah i could have done that too yeah the spoon that, uh, it's easier right. with the spoon you don't want to eat those jen those will take a I tooth know, out i know but yeah. you know we don't want to eat any of these. Do so we? where do you get where do you get your avocados? Um, Is there something to look for, like a yeah, particular? Yeah, they, they don't grow out here. I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So they grow back in my hometown <laughs> in Southern California, but I, I, I just buy a produce supplier here. Oh, okay. And these are the Haas avocados, which you can't. That find was in what the I was wondering. Right yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So if you want to grab a tomato, um, we're going to skew this over. I'm going to let tomato? you dice these oh, tomatoes. Oh, okay. Awesome, because I'm really good at that. Are yeah, you good? So dice a tomato. How do you want them diced? Um, like this. Okay. Just like that. So whatever way. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna just kind of chop up these okay. avocados here. You can take once you take this. So is there a secret ingredient that goes into this? Because there your is. guacamole is really good, so you can't tell us if it's a secret, then, right? Yeah, you know, all of our ingredients are on the label. So okay. if people were to read it, they're gonna find out what they are. But the secret that we have is how we prepare um, some of the ingredients. Yeah, and it's not with TV people, is what I'm thinking. <laughs> we're not in the back of the kitchen helping out much no. usually. This is just today. Yeah. So, you know, that, that's really the secret is how we prepare it. Most people notice it's really chunky, but it's got a really mm -hmm. smooth, creamy flavor as well. Right. And so that, that's in how we prepare three of our ingredients together before we put it into mm -hmm. the mix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the other thing that people like, uh, my wife Catherine, this is like her signature, it's got to have lime, right? Of course. Yeah, so the lime, we got to accentuate that. I totally that. agree with you. Heavy acid. Yeah, so with the lime, so I think that the avocados are good. You can throw the tomatoes in here. Okay. A lot of people like to save the pits. That helps preserve the, the color of the uh, guacamole. Does oh, it really? really? Yeah, so... Because guacamole looks really ugly the day after, right? Well, it turns yeah, brown. It, it starts so, to oxidize. So it a looks couple of things. so bad. Yeah, the lime juice helps, but the pit also helps. So if, if you don't like a lot of that. lime juice, just keep the pit in there, and it'll keep it nice. There you go. So let's grab okay, a, a lime. We'll just grab one more lime. Cut it sideways. Oh, hey, wait, you got to do this first. This is the old, the old trick. That what is the old trick. trick. I just learned that trick. You roll I didn't it. Know that. it, it, uh, it bruises Am it just slightly so, so it's a little juicier. Half. It's easier to get the juice out. And then one thing that I do to make it easy. Report. I'll take, it, I'll take a, a notch. You want to grab a fork? Here's a little trick that I learned is I take a notch. It makes it easier to squeeze. And then take a fork and just grind it. And we'll mm -hmm. grind it into here. Well, you go ahead and grind it into the. Go grind it over top? Yeah, go for it. Why not? Oh, I love lime. Dan, do you want to do that one? We put yeah. lime on everything. I know, I do too. It's just awesome. Isn't it the best? So you're just talking about doing so this. Good. Oh, well, Dane, aren't you just so good at this? Yeah, well, you know what? Do you make guacamole at I home? I make all kinds of things at home. Do you? Yeah. You should come over sometime. 
Oh, okay. If Never it's mind. free, then I'll, I'll come. I'll give you my address. <laughs> the wrong address. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's scoop. We're gonna scoop all this into this bowl right here. Okay. So all this goes in here. All this is gonna go into here. So grab the spatula right here. All right. Scoop it in. Scoop Jeez, it. Putting me to work. Scoop this is more it. cooking than I've well, done in the last you, month. Thank goodness we're not here, selling this stuff. You need to uh, I'll let you do me. that. I'll hold the bowl. Okay. Otherwise, there's gonna be a serious mess if I try and do all of this. All right. Okay. There we go. Okay. Got that okay. out of the way. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some lime juice. So you're gonna be stirring though. Okay. So I'm gonna take some lime juice. I'm just gonna put some lime in here. We like that. You Keep put stirring. a lot of lime in here. That's probably why I liked it so much. Yeah, probably. That, yeah. That's also gonna help it stay a lot longer too. So you see it in the shelves. So we're gonna throw some cilantro in here. Mm -hmm. And gringo guacamole, you guys sell your product where? So that people yeah, can get it. Yeah, so, you know, we're a brand new company. We're about mm -hmm. seven weeks old. Uh -huh. We've got soft agreements with four stores right now. So when I met you, you guys were like infants. You're still infants. Oh, we were baby. beyond infants. We, <laughs> you have no idea how many over our head we are right now. This so, is great that we love to just <clears throat> throw you into it. So oh, what's this? This is secret ingredient, which is why the back is to see. the camera. I can see. see what we have in there. Yeah. Should we tell them? Yeah, go for it. Go, Dane. What is it? Cilantro, onions, and some special white sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Something special. Something special is in there, so, apparently. So keep okay. stirring. I'm going to add a little bit more here. The okay, last but what thing, stores though? Tell them really quickly. Okay, well, we I can't say track. because we only have soft agreements. Okay. But if you go to our website, can I say okay. that? Yeah. GringoGuacamole.com. We're listing, we deliver local, we make once a week, and uh, we deliver local right now. We're going to keep people posted on these stores that are going to carry it. And one of them is here in Park City. Cool. Which, yes. uh, Wait. you'll be able oh, to get man. it. Oh, Dane, oh, hold Dane. on. The last thing you do well, is tomatoes. He eats I'm all just the testing time. him. That's he's, good. You know, I'm Dane, salt. We need salt. Yeah, I was going to say there's this something missing there. This is super yummy, and I'm so excited to uh, have this for breakfast so this the, morning. The trick on the salt is never put in enough right away. Oh, yeah. Because when you taste it, you need to have an excuse to come back and taste it yeah, it's again. It's harder to go. take it out if you put too much in. Yeah, I had that happen once. Okay, and we had to go to the store and buy like 20 more avocados. You yeah. need to you behave yourself. Settle See, down. I told you, guacamole. Look at him. Snow guacamole, sorry. He's like a crazy little on, shit Grace. all of a sudden. But go to the website. You just saw it pop up on... Uh, screen there and oh, there you'll be able to see everywhere they're going to be selling this. So the wine pops Yummy right out. Huh? How's the salt right now? What do you think, um, Dane? Does it need more? Maybe a touch more. I always just, just to bring out the savor of the lime. Okay, there we go. Do a little stirring. Keep stirring. Okay. Bottom to top, bottom to top. There you go. Thank you, Dane. You can tell how often I cook, right? He's a great instructor. Isn't he good? He's yeah. so nice about him, too. I carry her. I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have a hard time I'm kidding. that. I'm <laughs> kidding. Don't hit me. Here. Here. Oh, it's so good. Let's put the chips okay. right here. So All of a sudden, we go to black. It's because interns the, the directors and are director running in here any second. It's all going to be right here. All right. Eating guacamole. Give us a website again so it. we can find out. GringoGuacamole.com. But we're most active on Facebook. Okay. Same thing. Facebook.com slash Gringo Guacamole. Very, very good. Yeah. And love the Mexican hat. We got to keep it on all. We like to have fun. We're doing it. Surprised Dane wasn't wearing it. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, that just gets in the way. Well, it's a surprise I wasn't wearing my Hawaiian floral shirt. You probably should have. He, yeah. When I met you, you were in a Hawaiian floral. I had floral. my ugly one on. You two might have a connection. Okay. I might just salt. need to leave. No okay, salt. Dane's going to keep on, you know, babying this. I'm going to try how to do this. Okay, you do this. While we go to a break, we're going to take a short break. We'll come back. Um, and then we're going to be making steak tacos in a little bit with them. Awesome. Of course. Um, I'll have to test that, us. just so you know. We brought uh -huh. plenty we'll of steak. It. It's going to be fun. Okay, Jen, there, so you go. there you go. Okay, gringo guacamole. We'll be back with more. Thank you, Dan Craig. Mm. This is awesome. <laughs> Come Good over on. here. Come over here. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? <laughs> Catherine. This is Catherine, and she is <laughs> part of <laughs> gringo guacamole. And so... There, there see right there in the camera. <laughs> go ahead and say hi to say hi to the kids hi, at home. Hi, hola. All right, get out of here. We're doing weather. Do you want to come back out? You can kind of come back out here um, and do trivia. You want to do that? All right. Okay. Okay. So our trivia is uh, is uh, a big prize this time around. We're going to be giving away some passes to the homestead, right, Jen? Yes. Yes, she says. Okay. Here is a question. Let's walk this way so you, you can read this right off the screen. Are you ready? There you go. You can read that. How old of a company is Gringo Guacamole? Now, you can't answer this. You can't answer this. <laughs> okay, if you think, we told you last hour how old Gringo Guacamole. How long they've been in, you've been around for a while, but you just opened your store, right? No. Oh, okay, this is a trick question. 
If you think you know the answer, you've got a one in three chance. Call that number at the bottom of your screen. We'll get you hooked up with passes to Homestead Golf, and uh, you can have a great weekend goofing off. All right, so we're going to be coming right back with Gringo Guacamole in just a few seconds. Stay right there. We're coming right back.